It may look like just a fan, but this could be the solution to using less power and saving more money in business. Well, what we plan on doing with um, this environment is we will plan on passing that cost direct, that cost savings directly through to our clients. So, um, effectively, what we believe is that the only way that we're going to build um, truly efficient environments is for us to partner with our clients to, to look at the environmental aspects um, of our business. We are a very power-intense power uh, um, utiliser. Um, and, and what we'd like to do is we'd like to um, work with our clients to uh, create as efficient an operating environment as possible. So if our clients um, invest in new green server technology, we'd like to, to incentivize them to do that by passing through the cost savings that they um, create back to them. The Kyoto cooling system from Internet Solutions is a key ingredient to keeping data centers active as well as save millions of rands considering that a conventional data center costs between 50 to 100 million rand. I think everybody's familiar with uh, email, everyone gets email to their phones, to their laptops, to their portable devices, everyone's familiar with YouTube, um, Twitter, Facebook, all these platforms that you connect to to deliver mail and see your friends on Facebook etc need somewhere to physically be, be located and that's what the data centers are there for. They're there to house the servers that provide the content to end users whether it's in a corporate on their CRM or billing platform or right down to end user consumer mail or Facebook services. Unlike conventional cooling systems the Kyoto wheel is a lot more energy efficient in preventing data centers from overheating. So one of the most exciting things about the, the design of this Randview data center is that this is the first time in the African continent that we're employing a technology called Kyoto Cooling Technology. And what this effectively does from a business perspective is it'll give us up to a 40% savings on, on power. Now, the way this works is effectively we have a big, um, a, a big heat exchanging wheel and we expose half of this wheel to the outside air and half of this, this wheel to the inside um, data center environment. We then blow through cold air from the outside through the half of the wheel that's exposed to the outside um, and this cools down the wheel. The wheel then rotates and we can then use that cool, cooled section of wheel to cool down the data center inside. Um, what this effectively means is that for 90% of the year um, roundabout we won't need to use uh, traditional cooling technology to cool it and traditional um, cooling technology is very energy inefficient so effectively um, we can provide what we term free cooling for up to 90 percent of the year. It's the greenest data center on the African continent so uh, traditional data centers are very very power hungry this data center reduces our power cost by 40 percent so really really a massive saving and a great initiative from ICE to, to move to a much more greener sustainable data center facility. Graham O'Driscoll Internet Solutions' Innovation and Technology Manager took us on a tour to show the magnitude of difference the fan has created. All the racks are put in a, in a hot aisle containment configuration, which means all the, hot, the back of all the cabinets face inwards. All the hot air blows into that. It's sealed on the front and the back and the top. And there's two huge exhaust fans that go out. It sucks the air out, so there's, there's negative pressure inside there. There's big fans sitting in the Coyota cell that suck the hot air out. When the air gets sucked out of that, it goes into the, the Plymouth and into the top part of the cell. It gets forced through the wheel, and as the wheel rotates, it cools it down and it gets sent back into the, the data center. If the air returning into the data center is not, not cool enough, there are temperature sensors on the return air to make sure that the air is at the right temperature. If not, the normal air conditioning DX units will turn on, which are normal air compressors, um, and they will cool the air for the final uh, tra transition back into the data center. It's red for power, gray for the ethernet cables, and orange for all fiber cables. Each cabinet can, will get one of each of those, or has the ability to get one of each of those. The success of Internet Solutions' Kyoto system promises expansion to the other data centers in Africa. We currently have data centers um, in Nigeria and Kenya, and we are looking at, um, at, at growing up through Africa. This is definitely a technology that we would like to use in, in the majority of our new environments. There are obviously some technical um, challenges that may prevent us from using it in some circumstances. It is quite a large technology size-wise, so obviously we'd have to um, uh, assess every site before we determine whether, to, whether we can use this or not. With the addition of the new Randview data center to the Internet Solutions' network, this fan could make a real difference to their business and that of their clients.